Well, Apple and Amazon are fighting back against claims that Chinese spy chips have infiltrated their hardware. Bloomberg is reporting the tech giants may have been hacked by the Chinese military. KPX 5's Kit Doe took a closer look at these claims. Supermicro, based in San Jose, is a key player in the Bloomberg investigation, with details worthy of a high-tech Hollywood spy thriller and a headline to match. The Big Hack, How China Used a Tiny Chip to Infiltrate U.S. Companies. The report cites 17 different government and corporate sources with knowledge of the investigation who say the Chinese military worked for years to insert a tiny, inconspicuous chip, oftentimes no larger than the tip of a pencil, onto the motherboards of servers. Those motherboards were designed by Supermicro in San Jose, but the alleged breaches happened at factories in China. The military operatives allegedly gained access with bribes or threats of government inspections. Supermicro's hardware was then used in tens of thousands of machines all over the world, including U.S. military and intelligence servers, and the data centers of dozens of companies, including Apple and Amazon. Sources told Bloomberg when the boards are switched on, the spy chip alters the operating system's core to accept modifications, like not requiring passwords. And the chip could also contact other tainted hardware in search of further instructions. Apple denied finding any malicious chips planted on any of its servers, and also denied working with the feds with a strongly worded press release titled what business week got wrong about apple saying we are deeply disappointed that in their dealings with us bloomberg's reporters have not been open to the possibility that they or their sources might be wrong or misinformed amazon released this statement titled setting the record straight on bloomberg business week's erroneous article amazon denied they found modified or malicious hardware in super micro motherboard saying quote there are so many inaccuracies in this article as it relates to Amazon that they're hard to count. And in a press release titled, Supermicro refutes claims in Bloomberg article, the company says they have never been contacted by any government agencies and, quote, strongly refutes reports that servers it sold to customers contain malicious microchips in their motherboards of those systems. In San Jose, Kitto, KPIX5.